Hello and thanks for watching. In today's video we're going to look at two ways of sharing your cockpit in the simulator. I'm not going to discuss how to install these two bits of software. Uh, they've both got good instructions on their websites. It's just an introduction to them really. The first one is JoinFS which has been around for years and is used uh, in all the major simulators. As well as for cockpit sharing, you can do a whole load of other useful and interesting things. And then later on, we'll look at your controls, which is an add-on just for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So David's joining uh, me this morning. And uh, morning, David. Yeah, good morning. Let's start off with looking at Join FS. I've talked at length about that in a previous video, so really I think I just want to remind everyone that you can do some basic cockpit sharing functions in JoinFS, which Pete updated to include Microsoft Flight Sim back in September, I think it was, wasn't it? Yes. And he's working on some extra features and of course you can still use that to record flights as well, which is, is mm. quite useful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we're both at Compton Abbas in the UK. Uh, we've spawned <coughs> next to each other. If we uh, connect to JoinFS now, I'm going to suggest we just join globally rather than using any particular hub. So have you got a button in the bottom right corner of JoinFS that says join global? I have, yes. So if you click on that, hopefully the network should turn green. Yep, it has. Yeah, there we go. And yep. I can see you out the window there. Yeah, and I can right. see you as well. Excellent. Do you want to get into my cockpit? That's yep. probably easiest, isn't it? So I need to find you. Uh, Pete's slightly changed the format of these since the previous version, since he updated it all. So right. I think, yeah, I go into session. Do I go into session? And then I find you in the list. There you are. And I'm going to right click in the permissions box click permissions and I'm going to allow you cockpit entry but I'm not going to give you any controls for the time being okay okay so there's now a little C in the permissions box so you should be able to get into my cockpit so you bring up the list of aircraft yeah you highlight yep. my name yeah and, and then, then enter cockpit right click and do enter cockpit no. it says the owner won't get hasn't given you permission um well Oh, hang on. Oh, that might be an operator error. <clears throat> I think there's someone else called Dave on the network. My bad. I gave Dave permission. <laughs> <laughs> Look around the cockpit. Is he there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Try try now. So, enter the cockpit. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. Excellent. So this should mean then that looking out the window that any minute now your aircraft that I'm looking at just evaporates. Yep, it's gone. Yep. And on little nav map now there's just the one of me. Good. Uh, what altitude do you see on the altimeter? Um, I see a just under 800 feet. Great, okay. So I'll just try changing the altimeter there. I'm going to set that to a thousand feet. Do you see it changing? I do. Excellent. Alright, and let's just try changing the radio so I'm gonna <coughs> change my standby frequency go up to 124 decimal 8 don't know whether you'll see that yep you do excellent alright so let's see do you see the mixture changing yep awesome flaps going down yep awesome uh, let's do lights so we turn off uh, the landing light and strobe. Don't know whether I think these do synchronise. Do you see them change? Yes, I do. You put on a bit of weight because uh, the aircraft's leaning. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's lockdown, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing else to do. <laughs> so drink, drink wine and make YouTube videos. Uh, okay, right, so uh, let's just very quickly give you permission to mess about with the controls then. So I'm going to now go into back into the permissions. 
I'm going to hand over. So um, important to say that actually this isn't sharing controls, it's actually giving you the controls. So I'm going to move over into the co-pilot seat now. Yeah. All right, so feel free to mess about with stuff. OK, so that's the strobe light, nav, taxi, landing, beacon, landing. All uh, up. Turn them all off. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'll put them all back on. <clears throat> um, I'm going to change the frequency one, two, three decimal eight and yeah. stand by. Got that, A firm. Yep. Yeah. And I'll just uh, change the altitude. Yeah. 1,100 back yeah. to 1,000. What about heading bug? Should we test that? Yeah. Heading bug. Yeah. There we go. And do you want to give the flight controls a little bit of a wiggle as well while we're there? Yep. Yeah, yoke's moving. And the mixture. Mixture, lovely. And the throttle. Rudder works alright, presumably. Yeah, there we go. Great. I mean, apart from all the other things that JoinFS does, I think this is pretty amazing. You don't have to install any other stuff. Yeah. You don't have to mess about with any settings in the simulator. It just works. Yeah. So what we've done in the past, haven't we, is one of us would fly the plane and the other one would talk to ATC. Yeah. Now, as you get more complicated aircraft, like an airliner, it doesn't sync all the fancy buttons and functions. It's just the basic stuff, isn't it? But yeah, indeed. I think for students and instructors, or just two people that like to fly together, this is an amazing bit of software. I remember the one thing 2020 didn't like before. It was when we tried to leave the cockpit. All right, try leaving the cockpit and see what happens. OK. I have left the cockpit. Yeah, I'm getting a very weird effect. So I, I appear to be now sitting in your plane. Yeah, I can see your plane over the top of mine as well. Oh, so maybe it's just that we're superimposed. Let me scooch forward a bit. Yeah, that's it. It's got rid of it. No, there we go. It comes back. Back again. That's yeah. it. Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. OK, so what we found, I think, that the only way to get around this was to physically shut down join FS, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The other thing we were going to look at was the Your Controls add-on, which does actually allow you to share the controls, doesn't it? But there's yep. more to set up. So Your Controls, it's an add-on, isn't it? So we have to have that in the community folder, I think, if I yes, recall. So you've, you've, you've got it in there, haven't you? Yep. So there are pains to state that um, other add-ons might interfere with the function of it. So we've mm -hmm. removed all other add-ons. We've just got the your controls one. Now I'm sure there are some that do play nicely, but probably if you've got, let's say we're in a 320 and one of us was using the um, fly-by-wire mod and one wasn't, then probably mm. that wouldn't work. I don't know. Yeah. Alright, so we're both going to open up your controls now. So we have to uh, make a session, don't we? Yep. <coughs> so if you make the session, I'll uh, take okay. the code from you. So all I've got to do... So we're going to do the cloud server, aren't we? IP version 4 and cloud and server. And cloud, indeed. That worked well last time. So first of all, I'm going to start the server in the host box. Yes. And I'm going to give myself a username. And we have to choose the active aircraft, don't we? So it's the Cessna 172 we've got. So you can see active aircraft uh, C172 dot uh, Yankee Alpha Mike Lima, yeah? A firm. Uh, everything's gone green. It says it looks good. Yep. Uh, OK. So, because I hadn't selected the aircraft, when I clicked on the Start Server button, it didn't work. Once I 
selected that, went back up and clicked the server button and that's running now uh, and the session ID is Oscar Golf November Whiskey Charlie Yankee okay. which you're going to put into the join box to the left aren't you yep. and then click connect so it's gone to oh, it says uh, it was trying to connect then it says cli client disconnected reason could not connect to session Oh, did I give you the correct one? Oh, so it's got to be in capitals, remember, the okay. session ID. Oh, so right. Oscar Golf. Just a sec, sorry. Yeah, Oscar Golf. November Whiskey. November Whiskey. Charlie Yankee. Charlie Yankee. Yeah, I think this caught, this caught us out before. Wow, it was a one client's connected, so I presume you're there. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we are. You're currently an observer. So I think that means, then, that you will see the controls moving, do you? Yep. But you can't do anything with them. Just check. Well, I can. At least from my point of view, I can see okay. them moving. Can I, you? No, I don't see anything moving. Okay. So if I want to give you some controls, I'm going to click on the Observer button and then give Control. So now you are totally in control. Okay, just a sec. So can you see the uh, yoke moving? Yep, yep. yep. I'll just give it, give it a bit of uh, mixture. Yeah. And throttle. Yeah, yep. that's it. Okay. <clears throat> if I want to do anything, so I see my controls moving now, but presumably you don't. True. Okay, because you're totally in control. So now let's do it by sharing. So I can't take back control because I've given it to you. Okay, so I'll give you back control. So. Well done. If we leave it so that it says observer and give control, I think that means now then both of us have control. Is that right, if I recall? So, I'm, do you see yeah. the controls yeah, moving? Yeah, I see the controls moving. All do right. you see the controls moving? No. So, make, uh, my notes say make the copilot observer so that both the buttons are lit up, which is what I think we've got at the moment. Okay. So, can you try changing the radio or something? Yep. Um, just I've swap, I'm swapping the standby and and main frequencies there. Yeah, I can see that happening. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to start the engine. I can see the engine going. <clears throat> okay, well, align uh, direction indicator and barometer. Did you just see the uh, altimeter change? I didn't, I wasn't looking. So it should be just under 800 feet now. Yep, it is, yep. Okay, I'm going to just. Theoretically, now in this position, in this state, you can fly um, and I can control radio and things like that, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Actually, we're moving. Are so you, I'm, uh... I'm taxiing us now. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did you... dive in for the controls? Then. Did you need to fasten your seatbelt? <laughs> um, do you want to see if you can pop the flaps down? Yep. Flaps one. Yes, it's working. Well, I suppose really what we should do now is take off, shouldn't we? Yeah. Um, so, as you're very well aware, my actual flying skills can leave a bit to be desired sometimes. <laughs> so. Hey, now you tell me. Now you've got me strapped into the passenger seat. So if you do need to grab the controls to correct any errors, feel free. It's a bit heavier to take off than normal with you in the co-pilot seat. Is it? Can you feel that? Yeah. Pressure on the stick. Right. Nose down a bit. Nice. Do you want to bring up those flaps, please? Flaps cleared. Heading for VY attitude. There we go.
Okay, so um, I think really that's pretty much covered the basics, hasn't it? Um, to have done, yeah. uh, we, we haven't tested it with a more advanced aircraft. I think it'd be quite interesting to try it in something like the TBM or, or maybe try it for an IFR flight. That could be quite fun. Mm. Cool. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Yeah. I'm Very not really sure. Good. Am I actually able to fly it? I mean, you know, if you. Uh, stop, all right. Am I actually well, able to control I'll, the. I'll take picture. my hands off the controls. You see what you can do. <clears throat> Do you even see the yoke moving? No, and okay. the aircraft is just continuing yeah, straight I'm, ahead. I'm not able to control the flight surfaces, so that's fine. Okay, so that's pretty good in a way, isn't it? That only well, yeah. one of us is able yeah. to do that at a time. Yeah. But can you do things like lights? Just a sec. Probe off, nav off, yeah. Axi off, yeah. Beacon off, yeah. So you can do all the systems apart from the fl um, flight surfaces by the sounds of it. Yeah. Which I think's perfect. I think that's realistic, yeah. Yeah. So, really good bit of software. Um, it is an add-on that you put in the community folder, but then you run a separate uh, exe file that has to run in the background that actually links the two. Um, there was an issue with an earlier version of your controls where it broke some of the other add-ons that use the FADEC control for the throttle. Um, but that was fixed uh, in this newer version. Uh, so, yeah, really good. Two great ways of sharing cockpit in the sim. What more do you want? Um, your controls is only for 2020. JoinFS does connect to varying degrees of success between different simulators so I could be uh, in FSX someone else could be in X-Plane we could share some controls there I, I don't think it works very well in X-Plane but FSX P3D works very well uh, we have tried it as well with FSX and 2020 uh, and that worked fairly well I think uh, so the only way to find out really is to try it, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Great. All right. Thank you very much. I think that is probably all we need to go through, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. That's great. Excellent. I suggest you jump out the aircraft now, just in case we crash on Before landing. Before you crash, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for joining us, David. Um, yeah, a pleasure.